It's your voice, your vote. Six candidates are vying to fill the El Paso City Council District 1 seat. ABC 7's Pilar Arias is live at Canotillo High School, where a forum was held earlier tonight. Pilar? Good evening. The District 1 seat is currently held by City Rep Ann Morgan Lilly. She has served three terms, so now she can no longer run for office. That leaves six fresh faces who are competing to get into city government. That made it very difficult for small developers to participate. Half of the 12 candidates running for El Paso City Council seats in selection want to represent District 1. The area spans much of the West, Northwest, and Upper Valley. When I ask candidates what they plan to tackle first, most sang the same tune. We have issues with our streets. It's the condition of the roads. Right now, we're concerned with, with our infrastructure, our streets. Almost all of them mention the quality of life bond projects. We need someone with strong oversight to make sure we're spending these projects correctly, and that's what I intend to do. In the running are Dr. Rick Bonart, Manny Hino Osa, Daniel Lopez Jr., Al Weisenberger, Peter Schwartzbein, and Bertha Gerardo. They all got their chance to answer student and public comments at the Canodio Forum. Although we didn't get time to speak with every candidate individually, I did listen to their debates very closely. Dr. Rick Bonart wants to balance the budget, have an open government, and see economic development here in northwest El Paso. As far as Al Weisenberger, he wants to complete the west side swimming pool, complete the northwest El Paso hospital, and implement the northwest master plan properly. Along with District 1, three other city representative spots will be on this May's ballot. Incumbents Dr. Michael No, Claudia Ordaz, and Courtney Nyland all want to keep their seats, but all three have challengers in the race. Tonight's event here was moderated by Canotillo and Northwest Early College High School students. Election Day is May 9th. Reporting live at Canotillo High School, Pilar Arias, ABC 7. You're here before you know it. Thank you very much, Pilar.